Hello friends, I'm Paris and this is our 12th video in Python GUI development with PySci2. So in the previous video we have learned that how you can create a progress bar in PySci2. So in this video we are going to talk about uh, PySci2 layout management. So uh, first of all let me just uh, copy my window code and paste it in here. I'm going to ch just change the title to uh, Layout Management. So there are different layouts uh, that you can use in PySci2. For example, we have a QH box layout, we have a, a QV box layout, we have a grid layout. So there are different layouts. Particularly in this video, uh, I'm going to show you that uh, how you can create edge box and V box layout. So now I need some imports in here, Q dialog, I need Q H box layout with Q V box layout. Okay, so after uh, this, uh, now in here, uh, so in this section, uh, first uh, let me create a V box in here, so Q V box layout. And now let me vbox dot. Uh, so first, uh, I don't want to create a vbox. Uh, first, I'm going to create a method in here. Uh, let me call it create layout. Okay. Uh, now uh, in here, uh, also I need to add a queue group box in here. Q group box uh, which uh, also I need uh, Q push button okay so self dot group uh, box Q group box and now let me write please choose one language And now self dot group box. I'm going to set the font for my group box. So Q font. Uh, I need to import Q font in here uh, from pyqt5 dot qt code. Import Q. Uh, I think it's related to qt GUI. Uh, so Q icon and uh, Q font. Yeah. So, Q font, and uh, for this, uh, let me choose this should be sans serif and the size should be 30. Uh, now, after this, I need to create an H box layout. So, H box Q H box layout. Uh, so, it's a horizontal box layout. You can uh, uh, create your widget uh, in a horizontal uh, manner. Okay. Now I need to create some buttons because I want to add these buttons to my uh, layout. Okay, Q push button, and now uh, so this is CSS, and now I need to set an icon for this. Set icon. I have already copied some icons to my working directory, and you can uh, copy your icons. So it's CSS.png. Uh, and here we need to add a Q icon. Okay, so this is the first button. Uh, now let me just also set a button dot set minimum height for the button, so it should be forty. Now I need to add this to my HBox layout. Dot add widget. I want to add this button like this okay so this was my first button now I need to create uh, for my uh, another button so uh, I need to create button 1 Q push button and this is for C++ the parent is cell now button 1 dot set icon Q icon now this is uh, cpp.png 
button one dot set minimum high to 40 and also you need to add this to your age box layout so add widget and we are going to add the button one in here also I need to just create another button uh, let me just copy this and paste it here so this should be button 2 uh, button 2 uh, button 2 and this is uh, JavaScript Java uh, script Java script dot png and uh, we need to add this to edge box layout so this is our uh, three button and now I need to add my uh, I need to set layout for my group box so self dot group box dot set layout to the edge box and after this now we are going to add our this edge box layout to our vbox layout now at the top we are going to first we need to call our cell dot uh, create layout and after this I'm going to create a QV box layout now I want to add this so vbox dot add widget self dot group box and now I need to self dot set layout to the vbox layout so this is the complete code for my uh, layout management okay so now uh, if I run this uh, let me just run this okay so now we can see how uh, we have uh, a nice uh, layout management and you can make it smaller like this you can make it bigger and uh, so it is responsive with uh, these kind uh, because we are using layout so this was hbox and vbox layout i will add a source source code to the video description in the next video we are going to talk about creating great layout